Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Someone had sent me a couple um, pair of flyers so I could review them and see if I liked them. Um, so these are MC180 and as you can see, they're still in the package. I haven't opened them. I figured I'd open them on camera, give you guys an honest review. These are MC170. These are smaller. These are six inch. These are five inch. Now my goal with these, uh, after like picking them up, I feel like these are going to be very traditional to wire cutters. I am used to using, uh, these feel like they're a little bit more heavy duty. So I am thinking that hopefully I will be able to use these on my memory wire. And if I can, then, um, that will give me another tool to use on my memory wire um, that's a little bit more precise, if you will. So I do have a memory wire right here. Um, this is a necklace memory wire. And these are, again, the MC18. Uh, they have its side wire plier, and it says that... Um, it is a six inch. It doesn't have, oh, cutting capacity, soft copper wires, soft iron wires, plastic, cannot cut steel wires. Hmm. I guess we'll find out because I'm not entirely sure what memory wire is as far as the, um, actual wire. But I will say, initially speaking, they're dirty. They have grease on them. And as a jewelry maker, that's not something I want to be on my pliers. So can you guys see that? They're dirty. They're very dirty. So my initial response is don't touch these unless you clean them first. That doesn't have anything to do with the actual... Like, are they going to work? So, but yeah, they're dirty, really dirty. So not my favorite thing. We're going to just kind of keep those handy. Um, not sure what that is. Hmm. Anyway, so I'm just going to take just the tiniest bit off here because I did already pre-measure this. So I'm just going to see if it's going to work. And it doesn't look like it's going to. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so I don't know if you'll be able to see that little tiny little notch right there. But these are not going to work for memory wire cutters. But... There's some 20 gauge soft wire, and I believe these will cut just fine. Yep. These will cut just fine. And they are nice. Um, they're heavy, but I think that uh, these will end up in my husband's toolbox. Um, they are, they're heavy. They're durable enough. Um, they will cut, you know, what it says on the box, which is limited. It is limited to soft wires, not heavy wires. This, you really need a heavy duty wire cutter in order to cut memory wire. And something like this is what you're looking for when you're cutting memory wire. All right, so that is the MC180. Uh, these guys are going to be, oh, look at that. There's a, uh, wire cutter capacity. Cutting pliers cut soft copper wire, um, 1.5 millimeter, plastic two millimeter, cannot be used for steel wire and for hard material. Do not exceed the cut capacity of the pliers work. Otherwise it will damage the nippers. In order to serve you better and more conveniently our technical support after sales service and any other services, contact us through this email. It gives you the email. And here is the different things you can 
see from that. Um, is there nothing really on here? And like I said, these are MC 170. Now just off at first glance, I feel like these are really nice. They are small. Let me put, go ahead and put these on the ends of my memory wire so I don't lose them. They are stoppers. So there we go. Anyway, uh, I know that these are not going to cut that wire. Uh, these off of first glance do not seem nearly as dirty as the other ones. Maybe just slightly greasy, but not nothing like those other ones were. Just a little bit. Um, I definitely like these a lot better. They're small. They work nice. I like how you how small they are. Actually, you can get them in tight spaces. Um, they're actually a lot narrower, more narrow than these guys. And these are the ones that I normally use. But do you see the how the tips are narrow? Er. There we go. So I think I will be keeping these in my particular arsenal of tools and I will be moving these into my husband's arsenal of tools um, because these are they're lightweight but they're just too big they're too big for what I would use them for um, and they're so lightweight for them being as big as they are um, they cut the same materials that the little bitty guys do so um, but after just initially opening it up, it's a good high, um, it is a good quality plier. We're not gonna, you know, I'm sitting here squeezing the, the, the boo-boos out of it. Bloop, 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 bloop. It's not doing anything. It looks like it's made very well. It's got a nice grip on it. I like that. I like them. I like these the best, obviously, because I get to keep them and use them in my um, in my stuff. And I like how small and compact it is. It fits my hand nicely. I have a smaller hand. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, but I have a smaller hand and it fits in my hand quite nice, nicely. These actually fit in my hand nicely as well. But, um, and they're nice and heavy. I do like that. They just, uh, they're just a little big for what I need them for. So, uh Product quality wise, I think it's a good quality product. So anyway, uh, I will have the links for these in the description box below. And um, that way you guys can go and check them out if you're looking for a pair of pliers. Um, again, these were sent to me for a product review. And after reviewing the product, they do seem like they're adequate for specific purposes. Uh, they look like they are made well. They feel like they're made well. Um, and... Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And um, don't forget to check the description box below for the links to these particular products. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.